Hi, and welcome back to Tony's Cool Tools. If it's your first time, thanks for stopping. I really appreciate it. Without a doubt, Limwood is some of the best firewood out there with its high BTU. Unfortunately, there's a lot of processing involved when you're doing Limwood. So on video 56, I showed a tool that the woodhounds from Europe use extensively, but here in the U.S. you won't find many people using it. The tool I'm referring to is the sawhorse or log holder. And in today's video I'm going to show you a tool that I think is more versatile and a lot easier to use than this tool here. Stay tuned! So my buddy Dick, and many of you who watch my channel know who I'm referring to, Chris from In the Woodyard and I have cut many, many trees on his property, especially some of the large black oak trees that he has there. And he's had a tool that he's been using for about seven or, seven or eight years now, he said, and he thought it would be interesting for some of you viewers to check this out. Just another way of processing wood, and it also is a back-saving tool as well. So here's the tool that I'm talking about. It's called a wood dock, and it comes in a couple of different pieces. This is the main piece that holds the wood, and then this you slip in the two inch receiver of your vehicle. Now here's how easy it is to attach. Just slip it into your two inch receiver, put your pin in, take the wood dock, slip it right over the top of it, and that's it. And it also is able to swivel from side to side, and I'll show you the benefit of that in a minute. So this portable log holder is versatile, it's safe, but best of all, it's mobile. You can move it anywhere you want, and I'll show you several different applications in just a minute. So there was only one problem that Dick had, and that is when he was using this, he couldn't get into his pickup truck. So naturally, the company does have a solution for that. Let me show you. So Wood Dock did offer an extension so that now you can open up your tailgate and actually use it as a table here so when you're cutting you can take your chainsaw and set it on the back of your tailgate here. Super easy to use, very convenient. Just some quick detail on the Wood Dock. Firstly, it's extremely heavy duty made. The head alone weighs 16 pounds. It's made out of eighth inch and quarter inch steel. And as I said, it is very robust. And as I mentioned, it'll fit any two inch receiver, whether that's your pickup truck, your UTV, your ATV, and my favorite is the three point option of the tractor. I can raise it to a comfortable height, whichever I want, depending on how tall I am and how big the wood is, and start cutting on it comfortably. And oh, I forgot to mention one thing in the facts, and that is, this will accept anywhere from about a two and a half to three inch piece of wood all the way up to an eight inch piece of wood. Though I thought the three point was the best option for this wood dock, I totally forgot that I had the Artillion pallet system here that has a two inch receiver built in. So now I have ultimate control as to how high I want it, what tilt I want it, it's super. As you can see here, it works great. I can tilt the log over depending on where I want to cut. It truly is a versatile piece of equipment. Now one last thing I wanted to tell you about how versatile this tool is. As you know, you can put it in any two inch receiver. But let's say you're in the woods and you happen to just cut down a stump. You can take this, cut a slot in here, this will slide right in, and then they make a strap. I don't have it, but you can use perforated metal and strapping with two screws here, and you've got a mobile workstation right in the woods. Or if you happen to cut a pine or an oak that's six or eight inches, and you cut it to the height that you want, you can do the exact same thing and have a portable station right in the woods. So now that we went over the wood dock, let me show you how it works. Remember I told you that it swivels from side to side? The benefit there is I could load it here in the center, move it over to the side here, start cutting, all my wood falls down here, now I can just bring it back here, load the second piece in, 
move it back over here and start cutting so I have a pile right over here. I'm not having to stop and pick all that up. I can get a large pile up here. And when I'm through, I can move the tractor back a little bit and start another pile right next to it. So here we go. And there you go, that's how easy it is. So in a few minutes we took some ugly limb wood and processed it into great firewood. Now I've got some good news for you and some bad news for you. The bad news is I reached out to the distributor of the wood dock, which is Bailey's Forest product, and was informed that the company went out of business about six months ago. So it's not available anymore at the distributor. However, you can reach out or you can check eBay, Facebook Marketplace, or Craigslist, and I have seen them there. Several people would say, why would you show us something that you can't get? And let me tell you, many times I show you a product and many of the people say, oh, I can make that myself, much cheaper than what you can buy it for. So that's what it is. It's just an idea and a concept that you can probably take. And if you do any welding, you could probably weld something like this fairly easily. Now there are several Me Too type of products. One of them is Jaw Boss, and I'll put the information on it. And here's a picture of what it looks like. Now also while cruising Craigslist, I found this particular item on there as well. Check it out. So there are several manufacturers or several people making something similar to the wood dock here, or as I said, you can make it yourself. So after showing you all the things that the wood dock can do and how versatile it is, I wanted to go over some key points on it. For me, the benefit is firstly, it saves my back. I'm not bending down. I can set this at a comfortable height and start cutting without any problems. The second thing is I'm not in danger of hitting the ground, whether it be gravel or dirt. And the third thing is I'm portable. I can bring this into the woods, whether it's on my tractor, ATV, UTV, or pickup truck. And I've got a mobile workstation. So hopefully you've enjoyed this video on the wood dock. And if you did, please like, share, and subscribe. Give me a thumbs up as well. And remember, pass it forward. Make the world a better place. And don't be a tool, watch Tony's Cool Tools. Until I see you next time, have a great one.